So I have taken many of the, the functions that I've programmed over the last few years that, that make a lot of the, the calculations that we do in the lab a lot easier and a lot quicker and put them together in our package so that other people in my lab and other collaborators can get at them easily. I put them together in this package called OTools that just kind of stands or is shortened for OnThink Lab Tools. So in this first video I'm going to show you how to install that and get that into uh, R easily. Uh, before you do this, make sure that you have R installed and then also I'm going to be using R Studio so you should have that as well. So first to get the package you need to go to um, my website so just type in people.wallawalla.edu forward slash tilde kurt dot onthank and that should be sufficient to take you to my, my lab website. Once you are there, go ahead and go into the research of the page here and you'll see lab tools and underneath there on think lab tools are package. Go ahead and right click on this, save link as, and then go ahead and save this somewhere on your desktop. So let me see here, let me find a good place for this. Um, and the, the file that you're downloading is going to be a tar.gz file. Is it just a special type of compression or a special type of packaging? Um, you don't have to worry too awfully much about that. So let me see where am I going to put this? Um, our projects, tutorials. Save it in there. Okay, and now let's go ahead and go into R. To install a package, the easiest way is to go into session. And then come down, ooh, excuse me, not session, is it tools, yeah, <laughs> excuse me, tools. Come down to install packages under the tools button and click on that. Now, before we install OTools, we actually have to install a couple other packages that um, OTools requires to run some of its functions. So. Under the first install from, keep it on repository, CRAN. And in the second one, the packages uh, field here, type in M-A-R-E, Merlac, M-A-R-E-L-A-C, and hit enter. And go ahead and hit install. Keep the other thing, uh, other things um, checked or at their default. And then also choose install dependencies. And then hit a couple seconds down here in the lower left hand corner of the console window it'll start going through the steps needed to install this. Now one thing that um, it actually turns out is that there's two packages that OTools to work so as you And there we go, that is done. Let's go ahead and install OTools now. So we come back up again to Tools, go to Install Packages. This time, instead of from a repository, you click this and come down, and we're gonna say we're gonna install this from a package archive file. Click on that, and now under the package archive, we're gonna browse to where we saved that. Find that. Oops, nope, not there. Which it, It's there also, but... Here we go. Here's where I installed it from the, um, or downloaded it from the website. We're going to open that and click on And it should go very quickly. It should be done. And then let's go ahead. If you go into your packages tab in here, you should see OTools, whatever version that you saw there. Oops, excuse me. Go back into packages again. Click on uh, the radio button next to OTools, and it should load the library. So now all the, the functions in OTools you should be able to use fairly easily. 
if you go ahead and click on um, the name of OTools, it'll take you into the the help file for this package. And so here you have all the help pages. This also includes all of the um, the help pages for all the individual uh, commands in there as well. So you can browse through those. But I'll take you through those individually as well. So there you go. That is the the way that you initially get installed O Tools.